Hello, this is Scott Cruz, Intuitive Medium Life Coach, blending the worlds of metaphysics and psychotherapy. Today's topic is past lives and reincarnation. Now, both are synonymous with each other because you can't have past lives if you haven't been reincarnated. But remember, these are just theories. Those of us who have dived in the spiritual realms of existence and have our years of experience and knowledge all come down to the same conclusions about what reincarnation and past lives really are. So here's my simple perspective on these theories. Now, first and foremost, it's very important to know, what are we? <laughs> well, of course, we're human, that's inevitable. But are we soul, are we spirit? What are we when it comes to reincarnation? How can we have past lives? Well, the one thing we cannot deny is that we are conscious. Now, we're conscious in different formats. So, of course, one being in this physical three-dimensional format of this time-space continuum called planet Earth, even when you close your eyes and put yourself in an imaginative state, you're conscious of what is in your mind's eye. Even when you're in a dream state and you awaken from the dream state, you're conscious of these experiences that you've had that almost seem real. And a lot of us have experienced what we call lucid dreaming. We're actually dreaming. We're in the dream like if it's as clear as, as this reality is. Again, we're conscious. With knowing this, what happens to consciousness when we die? Well, I like to call dying or the death experience an awakening experience. Now, very similar to when we're having our dream state and you wake up in this reality, there's no mourning of that dream, the dream death, right? And you're not even fearing about dying in the dreams. And sometimes we have dreams about dying and then we, of course, wake up and we're in this life and realize, oh, that was just a dream. Well, that same experience is true when we have our death experience in this physical life. The same is true. We bounce into another level of reality or what I like to call template level reality. And, and what I call to be template level reality, when we have our death experience, we get to have a life review. Through that life review, we get to experience all the experience we've had in this physical life. We then get to observe and experience all the negative things we've inflicted upon other people. And we get to put ourselves in their shoes to experience what we've done so we can learn to expand to that, that awareness. Now, a lot of times, I would say most of the times, because the soul wants to grow, the soul has to grow. Expansion is the natural essence of our souls. The more we want to grow and learn, the more we will experience what we have to experience to do so. So a lot of times, if we didn't really quite learn a lesson or change a karmic pattern in a lifetime, we'll reincarnate. We'll begin another life with that theme to repair that theme or to grow out of that theme or to expand that theme. And so, yes, we can do it in life review, but most of the times we'll choose reincarnate to do it. For example, there are many experiences where people have lived life as a villain, victimizing other people. And so they might choose after upon doing a life review to incarnate to live life as a victim, to experience what it's like to be victimized. So they can understand both aspects of victimization and they can grow and expand their soul with that knowledge and never to repeat it again. This is why a lot of times you see people that no matter what, they don't want help. They enjoy being a victim. Those are the situations where they've chosen prior to incarnating. And so you can't help them no matter what. They're destined to live that life. That's a positive thing actually in the end. They're gonna grow on a spiritual level and expand outside of that realm of existence and never repeat that, ex that experience ever again. So that's why sometimes you have to let people deal with their karma. You don't know why certain people are going through negative things in this lifetime. You don't know what their karmic lessons are, their karmic patterns are. Let it be. When you feel called to help and inspire, and of course, that's nature's way of calling you to align with what you want to put out with your own love and empathy. Follow those callings. Now, a lot of people want to know, what's my past life? Who was I in a past life? Well, the true way to identify a past life is to have a past life regression. Now, a past life regression is simplistically having a flashback or experience recall of a past life to where it's inevitable that it's you. For example, I was at a time in my life where I wanted to know more about my soul, who I was on the soul level, not the Scott Cruz persona, but who am I on the soul level? I was naturally starting to have past life regressions. I was in meditative states and I would have flashbacks, seeing myself in other bodies, but knowing it's me and experiencing these situations or even traumas that I know I've been through and I could relate to it. I was convicted like this is this is me, like as if it happened a couple years ago or you know, or a couple days ago. It was that clear of, of connection. And then when I look at the themes of those regressions that I've had, comparing with the life today, it made sense. 
I was able to connect the traumas and the karmic patterns I was having in this lifetime and quickly identify, oh, I need to change these patterns. So, of course, that allowed me to you know, grow outside of some of my limitations. Now, do you need to have a past life regression to expand your soul and expand your consciousness? No. This life is plenty to teach you what's going on with your on the soul level and how to grow and expand the soul. You don't have to have a past life regression. However, the more you are on a quest to find who, who you are on the soul level, past life regressions will happen naturally. They may not, but that's okay. It may not be relevant for you to understand what your past lives are. But a lot of times, more, more so than not, people will find their past life regressions the more they find who they are on the soul core level. Now, as I said before, we're here to change karmic patterns of our past because it's not so much about the lies that we have, it's who we are on the quest of our spiritual journey and spiritual growth. If you want to learn more about karma and karmic patterns, I did a video previously called Karma. You can check that out for more information there. But another common question people ask are about spirit guides. Please understand, anyone can be a spirit guide in your existence. You could have someone who you love in this current life pass on and they could pose as a spirit guide because you can still connect with their consciousness. As well as we can still connect with consciousnesses of those we had in previous lives if we remember or at least can channel them and identify who they are. But it's a lot easier to identify spirit as a whole, as just say spirit. Because at the end of the day, what guides are, it's just different streams of consciousness. There's different frequency bands of every information, every data, different streams of consciousness we can tap into, hop on into, get knowledge from. So instead of limiting ourselves of the information, the abundance of help and support we really have, just call spirit in a general context. Some even use God. Is, is a wonderful way, or universe, that's wonderful. This way you can connect with any type of source of information and support that you need and without trying to restrict or limit it to a certain few guides. It's more abundant, it's more vast than you think. So keep it simple. Now, as many times as I keep saying simple, 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 it can still be a challenge to identify core patterns of yourself or karmic patterns of self that need to be changed and understanding certain past life regressions that you may have had and how to identify or put them into a proper perspective. If you need that assistance, you can book a session with me at scottcruzpm.com and there you can also find dozens of blogs and other videos or you can subscribe to this channel here. I will be posting a new video with a new topic every week. If you have any suggestions on, on topics you wish for me to discuss, you can leave a comment down below. But please remember, you are the god of your own myth. What do you want to create? Much love.